So we're now in, uh, what do you call this, um, uh, Paul? This What garden is this? This is the medicinal garden. The medicinal garden. So Paul Bourne is going to take us through the medicinal garden, a little bit of it at uh, Peg Farm. So go ahead, Paul, tell us about this. So the whole concept here is that, you know, in the modern world we live in today, when you get sick, you go to a doctor and usually the doctor prescribes you some form of pharmaceutical medication. What we're trying to create here is a natural pharmacy where you could come and get medicine for any ailment you might have from a natural source. And what we have in this garden are all the herbs that and plants that you, you would hear your grandmother talking about. So right here in front of us, we have a very common one called Leaf of Life or Wonder World. And our signs here, what it does is it shows the botanical name and it also shows what the treatment of this plant uh, is and where it comes from. This comes from Madagascar, okay? And all, all through the garden, the labels are showing what the plants are. Watch your head on this uh, bay leaf tree here. And all of, the, all of the rocks in this garden here have come from the rivers in the forest right in front of us. You'll notice how they're round and shaped by, by water. And water is a very important component in our life as, 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 as beings of the earth. You know, there are four life elements, water, air, fire, and, and the earth itself, the material world. So this, this medicinal garden really represents, um, you know, the healing aspect of what we're trying to do here at, at Peg Farm. And interestingly, a gentleman that we follow here quite closely by the name of Rudolf Steiner, he died in 1925. So this guy lived a hundred years ago, but he was truly a brilliant man. And he came up with a system called biodynamics and we follow that. And on any biodynamic farm, you would have the organs of the human body represented. So this medicinal garden represents the organ of the heart, which is the organ for love, empathy, and compassion. And the, the medicinal garden being a healing force and a nurturing force would be, would be that of the heart and love, compassion, and empathy. So very, I mean, how many, how many farmers have you ever spoken to that talk, that kind of talk, right? You don't ever hear that. All you ever hear is, 10 acres of carrots will yield this amount of money. You see what I'm saying? It's all driven by, by money. Whereas Steiner was so much deeper than that and, and had so much more in mind when he created what he created, the systems he created. So we're trying to follow that more spiritual and meaningful line by doing what we're doing here. All right. Well, this is, uh, was it? This one is for what? The heart? So this is love. This is what? What else? Love, empathy, empathy. compassion. All right. We better spend a little time here then. Uh, Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> Spend like the whole the whole day here, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're in the medicinal garden here at Peg Farm. Peg Fernandes and Paul Bourne taking us on this absolutely stunning experience here. For Capital Media HD, ninety nine point three.